Okay, in this particular video, we're going to look at adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing rational functions, um, and as well as complex fractions. Let's look at x squared minus 4 over x plus 2. Oh, let's look at multiplying first. Um, look at x minus 3 over x squared minus 9. Here's an example. We're going to multiply. What you want to do first, whenever you're multiplying rational functions, you want to factor everything. Once you factor everything, cancel, divide out, and then you're done. x squared minus 4 is really x plus 2. x minus 2 over, that's x plus 2. Here, that's just x minus 3. And factor the denominator x plus 3, x minus 3. That's step 1. This is similar to multiplying fractions, because that's all it is. x over 8 times 4, excuse me, 6 over 8 times 4 over oh, 12. Here you could simplify these fractions to start off with, or you could kind of cancel out which is really dividing out. Uh, let's look this direction. You could simplify here, but just I want to prove a point. Same way you would do over here. 6 goes into 6, what? Once. 6 goes into 12, twice. 4 goes into 4 once. 4 goes into 8 twice. And then you can get, what? 1 over 4. Correct? Same concept. This divides out. This divides out. You're left with x minus 2 over x plus 3. That's it. Like taking candy from a baby. Okay, here's the next example. Um, here we have x plus 4 over this times this particular expression. Um, put this over 1. Hmm. Factor x plus 4 over difference of squares, the way you tackle that. You know you're going to get two sets of parentheses. You know the first one. You're kind of going backwards. So you're going to have what times what is x squared? x and x. What times what is negative 25? That when you add it, you get 0. It cancels out. Plus 5, minus 5. There's other ways to think about that, but that's one way to think about it. Um, the numerator over here, you're going to factor that. Two sets of parentheses. Factors of negative 10 that added to give you 3. Hmm, I know the first two are x and x. What times what is negative 10 that when you add you get 3? Let's try plus 5 and minus 2. Denominator stays the same. Divide out what you can. Nothing else divides out. So your answer is simply x plus 4 times x minus 2 over x minus 5. Okay, um, just to note, division is exactly like multiplication. Only difference, you write the reciprocal of the second fraction and you do exactly the same thing, okay? Here, let's look at subtraction and addition, same concept. Here, you want to make sure you have the same denominator. Denominators need to be the same. When they're the same, you just combine what's in your numerator. So you're going to have x plus 4 minus all of this, 3 minus x. Distribute x plus 4 minus 3 plus x. Collect like terms, that's 2x. So I'll give you 2x plus 1 over 2 plus x x. Okay, in this next problem, you want to add rational expressions, but notice your denominator is not the same. All you can do is make them. you got to force them to be the same. So you want to multiply this side by 2 over 2, which will give you 10 over the same denominator. Then you just add your 10 plus the 3, which will give you 13 over 2 times x minus 2. And stay tuned for part 2.